Just your local hot mess here back with another makeup tutorial. I'm showing you guys this kind of go-to, my go-to glam look if you want to call it that. This is kind of the eye look that I do whenever I want to get ready somewhere. Wait, that's not English. Anytime where I'm getting ready in a crunch but I also want to feel put together, I have just kind of nailed this look down. I can do it in probably 10 minutes. I took longer obviously because I'm filming a tutorial with this but this look is super easy to do. Today's video is a quick beat video which means I already have my foundation and my base done. If you want to see other quick beat videos, I will have those linked in a playlist down below. So basically today I just show you how I do my eyes and my lips. If you guys are interested in seeing how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I already have my face done today and my eyebrows. I look pretty crazy. I did my eyebrows really big today. I didn't mean to, but I love a full brow so I really don't care. I am getting ready very, very quickly to go out and have a couple of drinks with some friends. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of my go-to glam look and what I do when I don't feel like doing a full smoky eye or some kind of eye look like that, but I want to still feel like I'm put together. So I'm not sure exactly what palette I want to use today. It really doesn't matter as far as palettes go what you use. So I'm just going to dip into my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. I feel like I look so weird and I feel like my background is so dark. My ring light is on and my two soft boxes are on. However, I usually have the soft boxes pointed back towards the background here to have that more lit up. I kind of feel like it might be better to have them angled towards me. So I hope the lighting in this video isn't weird. So bear with me if it is. I'm going to be dipping into my Modern Renaissance palette today by Anastasia. I don't really have a preference of what palette I use when I do looks like this because the kind of technique of the look stays the same. You can kind of just change it up depending on what tones and colors you want to use. I'm going to dip into the shade Burnt Orange with my JH30 one brush and I'm going to focus this throughout my crease and then I'm going to slightly blend it up towards my transition area. my JH33 brush in the shade Antique Bronze. Even though this is more of a shimmery shade, I'm going to be putting this into my outer corner and my crease. I just want to add some depth and this shade is a very beautiful warmer brown shade but it still has some of this mauve purple tone to it which is kind of the look that I'm going for tonight. So I'm just going to build this up until I'm happy with the pigmentation. You can make this as dark or as light as you want it to be but I just want to make sure that I'm going in and adding definition in areas where I want my eyes to just look a little bit more defined. How many times am I going to say defined and definite? You guys know what I mean. I am just going to slap this on. One thing I love about looks like this is you can do them really quickly and they're kind of foolproof. Taking the shade Cypress Umber with my JH40 brush, I'm going to focus this on the very outer corner and tightest throughout my crease just to really finalize that definition that I'm going for today. Okay, so now I'm really quickly going to be picking up my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my Morphe M224 brush. I'm just going to go in and kind of cut my crease just in that very first part of the lid just because I want to clean that lid area up just so I can go in with a brighter color. Okay, so now that I have that inner portion of the lid cleaned up, what I do looks like this. I like to just take a shimmery shade, so sticking with the same palette just so that this look is easier if you guys do have this palette, I'm going to be picking up the shade Vermeer and I'm just going to focus that onto the inner corner about halfway onto the lid right before I get to that outer corner there. I don't want to cover that outer corner up obviously because I still want to keep that definition. I just want to make sure that I'm really focusing on opening that inner part of the eye up with this shimmery brighter shade. And I'm applying that with my JH41 brush. Then 
I'm just taking that Cypress Umber shade again and my JH43 brush and I'm just smudging this onto my lash line just to help conceal the lash band and add a bit more definition. Now I'm just putting on a quick coat of mascara. I will be using my NARS Climax Mascara. I'm going to be putting on my Tarte Lashes in the style Heartbreaker. These are to die for. I've never used them before, but I'm just such a fan of the wispier, clumpier lashes. Clumpy makes them sound kind of gross, but you know what I mean when they kind of have more lashes in one area than another and they kind of repeat that pattern. I feel like it just really opens up your eyes and looks very pretty, so I'm just going to pop those on. Okay, so now that we have the lashes on, which honestly I feel like aren't necessarily like the best shape or length for my eyes, but we don't have time to go in and switch them out today because I'm already running late. So I'm just going to be using some Morphe liner in the shade Richie. This is a nice deep brown liner on my lower lash line, and then I'm going to blend that out with that antique bronze shade just to create a bit of a smoky look on that lower lash line. For lips, I'm just going to throw on my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi for today. This is just a little sample size I got and I actually really love this color. I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara onto my lower lashes here. This just makes all of the difference. And then I'm going to take that Vermeer shade that we used on the lid and I'm just going to pop this into my inner corner and my brow bone. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just wanted to show you guys like what I do when I am getting ready and I want to feel put together but I don't have a lot of time. This is like my go-to look. I just like to brighten up the lid and add some definition to those outer corners. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave some comments down below letting me know what kinds of videos or looks you would like to see me do next. And also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.